All right, so here we go. One of the fighters that a lot of people think could make a championship run in this division. And the term well-rounded obviously is overused in modern day mixed martial arts, but I think it applies. Yeah, absolutely, Johnny. We speak privately about these fighters, and when we talk about this kid, we talk about what is in the future. Because if you look at him short term, I think you're not doing him justice. This guy possesses all the skills in order to be an elite level mixed martial artist. Now, is it guaranteed? Absolutely not. But he seems to have the foundation, the framework to become a UFC champion. Let's see if he can continue on that path with a victory tonight. And one thing he all but guaranteed was a finish, either by knockout or submission. So we'll see if he gets it. All right, so here he is representing New Zealand and, of course, Nigeria. Enter the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. We've certainly enjoyed our time getting to know this young man in our fighter meetings. He has a high fight IQ. He's a thinking man's fighter. And obviously, the physical skills jump off the film every time you watch. Yeah, he's got it all. I mean, the guy has it all. And as you watch him walk to the octagon, he has a confidence and an air about him that many don't possess. He has always known he would become a champion of the world. He proved that he can do it. Now it's time to show whether or not he can do it again. Sometimes getting back is harder than getting there the first time. Let's see what Israel Adesanya can do to try to become the middleweight champion again. And certainly the discipline, the motivation, all that stuff is still there. And there was a definite intensity to him here during fight week. We'll see if he can channel that into the desired result tonight. Our tail of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. And now for the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Dean's in the building. He's the third man in the octagon tonight. Well, Israel Adesanya, as hot a prospect as has crossed into the UFC in years, he is known as an outstanding kickboxer. And as such, a lot of his UFC opponents are going to try to take him down, as his past victims will attest. That is a whole lot easier said than done. Last time, Ben has got it going here tonight, DC. As he often says, I don't throw and hope. I aim and fire. His accuracy is on a completely different level than most of these middleweights he's facing. And that's, that's the danger in the engagement there. Oh, beautifully placed with the lead left hand. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. So the kickboxer able to stay on his feet, at least for now. This is where he wants the fight, and you got to think stuff in the first shot's going to give him some confidence. It's got to give him a ton of confidence. He said that he would be able to defend takedowns. He said that he was going to put it on this guy. But that was the first test. He's passed. Now let's see if he can continue to defend takedowns as they come in his direction. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Nice 
combination there. He is just killing him with volume tonight. Jab, right hand, body shot, kick. What a masterful show of different techniques and ability to throw a combination. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Israel Adesanya. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Adesanya. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, his fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Got tagged a couple times. Nice combo up top. Takedown defense holds up. Great block there. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Jab gets the attention of his opponent. Oh, heavy kick to the body. Strong kick there. Trying to establish that jab once again. Two minutes on the round one clock. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. So right now, it's starting to show. He opened up now. Nasty cut on the bridge of the nose. That one appeared to stun him. Oh, he lands a big left hand. All right, well, he rocked him pretty good, but didn't sort of smell blood in the water, and now his opponent's back in the water. I mean, blood's in the water. You got to go and get it. You got to go find the finish. You cannot let him off the hook like that because now he will be motivated to try to go and hurt you. At your Good takedown defense by Israel. Under a minute to go. Adesanya going with the kick to the body. He's an outstanding kicker, but that attempt missed. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. It seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flowing. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him. Oh, he's in trouble. Well, he's able to get back up here, but oh, man, is he on wobbly legs. There, huge block for him. Uh, uh, round two next. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. All right, so a big knockdown for him, courtesy of that punch in that round. DC, here's your replay. Big moment in the previous round. They were both fighting very well, but when he landed this punch right here that sits his opponent down, it showed that the power is not equal, and if he can land, he does have the ability to damage it. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, round two. to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Oh, inside kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. He knows it all quick and 
beat up, it's bleeding. He got hurt bad. That nose looks broken. Best punch in the game, beautiful jab. He checked that last one. Circling to his right. Targeting the body with the kick now. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land those shots. Oh, beautifully timed and placed hook by him there, DC. Beautiful placement on the hook. Way to turn his body into it, make sure he kept his eyes on his opponent. Hurts him and gets back to safety. Adesanya's got a pretty deep bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. His opponent has done a lot of work in that region tonight. Oh, the leg kick lands. I'm spamming leg kicks if I'm playing the game. Well, you can feel that freeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Adesanya. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. You know, sometimes when you play basketball, you're in the zone. Mm -hmm. This dude's in the zone. This guy's throwing his basketball in the midst of the ocean. He can't miss with anything that he throws. Every kick lands. Every punch lands. He has just outclassed this guy on the feet. You have got to find a way to change the way that this fight is playing out, or your night's going to end very early. Well, as soon as he goes with that high guard, he pays for it to the body. You see the bruises really starting to accumulate now. In the beginning of the fight, you think I gotta protect my head at all costs. Right now, I believe that this guy has to worry about his body. Look at how red the side of his body is. He has got to change something. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly Found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Adesanya's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Good fight here under two to go. He sets up that leg kick beautifully. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He has doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the harder to is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Well, that strike landed, not going to help that cut at all. And I think for a lot of us non-fighters, it becomes hard to watch that area just continue to get targeted and bludgeoned. Over and over again. And it's what you're supposed to do yeah. as a fighter. You can't have heart as a fighter. You got to look at that thing. You got to look at that one. Oh! Oh, and Asanya's getting going now. Oh, that's big. Under a minute now to go in the round. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. It got checked. All right, so now we start to see some bruising appearing on the torso and all of that courtesy of the body work of his opponent. Just the, the wherewithal to go to the body and the discipline to stay with that approach. I mean, it's just tremendous. You, you see a fighter with a high fight IQ. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. Doctor talking to the referee and as if to say, I've seen worse. Fight's wow. going to continue the fans' love. This dude chose violence <laughs> when he showed up to work today. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, so the ringside position has made his way back to his seat. The referee gets the action back underway. The fans are excited this fight's going to continue. Absolutely, and I'm just as excited myself. I want to see these guys compete. I want to see who wins. I don't want it to stop because of a cut. I want to see the best fighter get their hand raised at the end of the oh! Some real power shots here. I mean, how about those last five minutes? Are you kidding me? 
right, there's the end of the round and hopefully not the end of the fight. He doesn't look as handsome as he did when he walked out. That is a severe gash on his face. All right, and being told we've got some replays from the previous round, and it appears as though the cut on the bridge of the nose is getting worse by the minute. It's getting worse by the minute, and he's got an opponent in front of him that wants to target it. He wants to hit him on the nose over and over again. I wonder if every time he gets hit there, the blood goes down into the mouth, making it difficult to breathe. Ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. Beautiful technique on the straight right hand. Oh! Well, new round, same result as he continues to punish the body yet again, just as he did in the previous round. Nice punch to the head. Israel Adesanya is blocking well now. Nice job to protect that already damaged nose as he raises the goal. Oh, nice. Another one. He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh! Well, I'm not sure if I should knock his fight IQ, but it seems like he's sort of playing around. Feels like the finish is there for the taking. Yeah, the finish is there. And he needs to take his time to try and find it. Don't rush. Be patient. And in that patience, you'll find a punch or kick that will put your opponent out. Well, this is absolutely the hurt business. It's hard to see which party is more injured, but I think both fighters have been really affected with their strikes in this one. Yeah, both guys have been affected. Both guys have been beat up. It's a very competitive fight. Let's see who has the heart to carry them through these very tough moments. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie. Locked in tight. Back to his feet. Israel Adesanya's hook shot blocked, though, by the defense. Nice job getting that guard up to prevent any further damage. Now the uppercuts are coming. He's to start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Well, at this point, that is as bad a cut as I have seen in some time. I think you got to call in the ringside physician. It's hard to watch. John, like, that's why I turn my face when I see stuff like this. It's disgusting. It's like Overeem's lip. Yeah. It's like when you see these types of cuts like this, it's hard for me to watch because I know that the only thing that can happen is the person gets more and more damaged. Gets the inside leg kick to land there. Crowd loving it, just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. All right, we now go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest. At two minutes, 46 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last style bender, Asanya. All right, so as they say, another highlight for the appreciable reel of the middleweight champ, Israel Adesanya, your winner tonight by knockout. Adesanya is such a powerful guy and such a big guy that when he lands, he can shut your lights off. Tonight, he gets the job done in spectacular fashion.